If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can check the Print Later checkbox that appears in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the Right Checks window to save it and print it later. To print your checks later, simply open the Right Checks window by selecting Banking Write Checks from the menu bar. To print a single check, then use the Previous and Next buttons in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the Write Checks window to display the check that you want to print. Then click the drop-down arrow on the Print button in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the Write Checks window. In the drop-down menu that appears, choose the Check command to display a Print Check dialog box where you can enter the check number to print, and then click the OK button to then launch the Print Checks dialog box where you can set printing options for the check. Alternatively, to print a batch of checks that you have saved and marked to print later, open the Write Checks window and click the drop-down arrow on the Print button in the main tab of the ribbon at the top of the Write Checks window. In the drop-down menu that then appears, choose the Batch command to display the Select Checks to Print dialog box. In this dialog box, you can remove the check marks from any checks listed that you don't want to print if needed. You can also use the Select All and Select None buttons to help you make selections if needed. Ensure that you have the correct account selected from the Bank Account drop-down. Enter the first check number to assign to the batch of checks into the First Check Number field. After you have set the desired options, then click the OK button to open the Print Checks dialog box. Place the paper checks into your printer and set any desired printing options in the Print Checks dialog box. This dialog box displays three tabs, Settings, Fonts, and Partial Page. On the Settings tab, use the Printer Name drop-down to select the printer that contains the checks that you are going to print. If needed, then use the Printer Type drop-down to select the type of printer you are using. In the Check Style section, select the Option button that corresponds to the check style you will use for printing checks, Voucher, Standard, or Wallet. To the right of that, then enter the number of copies of each check to print in the Number of Copies text box. You can check the Collate checkbox to ensure they print collated. Check the Print Company Name and Address checkbox to print the company name and address on the checks if they are not pre-printed and you are using either the voucher or standard check styles. To print a company logo on the checks, check the Use Logo checkbox. If you haven't loaded a logo yet, then click the File button in the Logo dialog box that appears to browse for a logo file for your checks. The logo file must be of an acceptable type for use in QuickBooks. Accepted types include JPEG, GIF, and bitmap file types. The logo must also be a perfect square. The smaller the logo file size, the more quickly the logo will be loaded into QuickBooks and printed on the checks. Also note that you can only print a logo on voucher and standard check styles and that you must be in single user mode to load a logo into QuickBooks. Assuming all of these criteria are met, you can load a logo by simply clicking the File button in the Logo dialog box to open an Open Logo File window where you can browse for and select the logo file to print on your checks. Click the Open button and then click the OK button in the message that appears if needed. Then click the OK button in the Logo dialog box to finish. If you have an endorsement signature you want to print on the checks instead of having to sign each check individually, check the Print Signature Image checkbox. You must have your signature image saved as a graphic file before you can add it to the checks. If you do, use the Signature dialog box that then appears to select your signature file. You use this dialog box the same way you use the Logo dialog box. Click the File button to launch the Open Logo File window where you can browse for and select your signature image to use within checks. You can click the Fonts tab to set the font style to use within checks. You can click the Address Font button to open the Select Address Font dialog box where you can set the font appearance for the company name and address. Then click the OK button when you are finished to return to the Fonts tab. 
You can click the Font button to open the Select Font dialog box where you can choose the font used for most of the text within the checks. However, you cannot change the text used to display the amount. When finished, simply click the OK button to return to the Fonts tab. You can print partial pages of multi-page checks like the standard or wallet sizes by using the Partial Page tab to select the Option button that corresponds to the envelope loading style used by the envelope feeder on your printer. After you have set the desired printing options for the checks, click the Print button at the right side of the Print Checks dialog box to print the checks. Before printing the checks, note that the total number of checks to print and their total dollar value appear at the top of the Print Checks dialog box. This can be a great way to double check the number of checks to print before actually printing the checks. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.